I'm Kyneton the Tech Pro and today is going to be question 12 on our data science question and answer series. So this question 12 will actually be kind of wordy. So uh, we're actually going to be talking so much without writing much. And that is very important because it's good for you to understand the concepts. So when we actually do the analytics using notations, it becomes uh, easier to understand. So we are talking about uh, the following terms, forward elimination, backward selection, and stepwise selection. These are terms applied in model building, and I'm going to tell you exactly where it applies. It applies in multivariate, multivariate regression. Okay. So in this case, we have several uh, independent variables and uh, x3 all the way to x, let's say p. We also have uh, a number of uh, dependent, uh, dependent variable, y1, uh, y2, all the way to ym. So now, how do you actually create a model that models the relationship between the dependent and independent variable. How do you how do you model the relationship between this, these variables and these variables? And that is the concept of uh, model building uh, using different methods. Sometimes in textbooks it may be called subset selection. So let me write it out so that you also have it in mind. Sometimes you may hear of subset selection. <clears throat> so the key thing about this particular question is you need to be able to explain uh, in simple terms the three methods used for model building. So basically, how do you combine the variables as the model building progresses? So the first one we are going to talk about is the forward selection. So I'm going to try to be as clear as, as possible without having to be too... too to be explained in so much technical things. So in case of forward selection, you successively select the predictor variables that have highest correlation coefficient with the response variable. So what are we saying? So the first thing in this case is start with xi, then move to xi and xi I plus one. So, for each of the for each of the independent variable you add, you try to find out the correlation of uh, of of these variables with the with the with the dependent variable. So basically, sorry about this. So basically, uh, we start with a model containing no variables. So think of it as we start with an empty set and then we add one variable and then uh, we continue adding predictor variables one at a time. For each step, we are going to calculate the F statistic. So for each step, we are going to calculate F statistic. So if there is if there's a strong relationship obtained for each step, we calculate the F statistic to determine if the strongest linear relationship has been obtained. Then if yes, the procedure stops. If no, continue to the next predictor variable. So if you add a, 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 a variable and if you find out that there is no change, so basically you can you calculate something like F change. So if no change is obtained, then know that you, didn't, you need not add more predictor variables. So this is about forward selection. In backward selection, we are working in opposite direction. So we start by adding uh, all, all, all predictor variable. Predictor variable are simply the, the independent variable, that is the x value variables. So add all the predictor variables and gradually be removing, removing these variables from the model and be checking the effect it has on the model. So it's called backward elimination. So we start with full least squares model containing all the predictor variables, then iteratively eliminates the least useful predictor variable one at a time. So is how do you eliminate? You also 
calculate the strength of the relationship between the predictor variable and the response variable using the F statistic that I've mentioned. So let's now look at the stepwise selection. So this stepwise selection is an attempt to combine both methods. So stepwise tries to combine both methods, both uh, uh, forward selection and buffer selection. So in this case, we are not adding everything at the same time. We are not also removing all the variables at the same time. What we are doing is we are adding and removing. So once we add one variable, we check the effect, we remove variables and check the effect. So we can actually be adding, uh, be removing alternatively until we get the strongest uh, relationship between the, the, the predictor variable and, uh, and the dependent variable. So after adding a variable, the model may remove a variable if the variable is, not, is no longer contributing to the model fit. So I'm going to actually stop here. So this is basically the concept, the, 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 the conceptual explanation of these three model building um, times that I've outlined here. So in the next question, which will be question 13, we are now going to ask a question, which is also very important. It says, what, explain the time, multi-collinearity. So this is what we are going to do in the next uh, lesson. So please remember to subscribe to my channel if you've not subscribed. Also, feel free to leave me a comment to let me know how you feel.